Hello and welcome. I hope all of you are doing awesome. Uh, today, I wanted to discuss you about BDD. Of late, I have been working with some QA teams and some organizations, and I came across this common thought uh, that we have in our teams uh, and in the organization that BDD means writing your test cases in the form of feature files using Gherkin language. For example, if I have to test a login scenario, if I have to write this in the form of BDD feature files, I will say, given user is on login page, when user enters username and password and clicks on the login button, then user is navigated to the home page. So this is a very simple scenario. Uh, we have used the Gherkin keywords given when and then, and we have created a BDD scenario. Now in BDD, BDD uh, does not mean that you just write your test cases or use cases in feature files. BDD has to be implemented at an organization level. And that is why it is called as behavior driven development. And the main idea of BDD and the main concept behind BDD is to bridge the gaps between the business and the technical teams. So what generally happens is uh, the business teams, the, the business analysts or the product owners, uh, they are the people who get the requirements, they talk to the clients, they, they talk to the product owners and get their requirements and create the user stories or the use cases. And these user stories or the scenarios and use cases are then handed over to the dev team and the QA team. The dev team then implements uh, the use cases and writes the code for the application or the product. And the QA teams write their test cases based on these use cases or requirements. Now, a lot of time it happens that uh, the code that is written by the dev team, the technical implementation, the scripting part, this is not understood by the business teams. And similarly, if we have the QA teams, they may be writing their own test scripts or the automation QA teams will be writing their scripts in the frameworks. And again, this cannot be directly understood by the business teams in most of the cases. So there is a gap. Sometimes there is a, a difference in implementation, what is conveyed and what comes out as the final result. There, there are some gaps there. Now to bridge these gaps, we have the concept of BDD, that is behavior driven development. And this concept says that uh, we will have a common documentation, a common document for all the teams. So generally a BDD process starts with when a business analyst or the product owner gets the requirement, he creates some user stories or some scenarios. And then there is a meeting. And in this meeting, representative from the business team, one representative from the dev team, one or more representative from the dev team and one or more representative from the QA team, they all meet and discuss on these user stories and scenarios. So this is also called as the three amigos meeting in BDD because we have representatives from these three teams mainly. And in this meeting, they discuss about the use, use cases, user stories, requirements, uh, they create a common understanding. They ask all the questions required and finally create one common understanding and then they create uh, the documentation or the documents where they write these scenarios or use cases in the form of feature files using given when and then keywords. So now this document becomes a single source of truth for all the teams. The business teams will be using this document to discuss on the user stories, to discuss on the requirements, even while talking to the product owners uh, they, or the clients, they will be using the same document. The dev team will be using the same document and then they will be implementing the features and the scenarios and QA teams will also be using, will also use the same document to write their test cases, to write their scripts. So at the end of the day, all of them have common understanding. And with this, we can bridge the gaps and there are very, very less chances of any confusion between these uh, uh, all the all the teams. So this is the main concept of BDD. This is the main idea behind BDD. So BDD has to be implemented at an organization level and all the teams must be a part of this process. 
just if our QA teams decides that, okay, from today I'm going to use Cucumber and I'm, uh, we are going to you know, write all our test cases and scenario in Cucumber BDD format, uh, that's not actually a BDD practice. So I hope uh, this will help you. Whenever you want to implement BDD, it has to be implemented at an organization level to get the complete benefits of BDD. I hope this will be useful for you. And if you have any other questions, you can let me know in the comment section and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.